Hey there everyone, today's video is going to be different because I'm going to be talking about my saggy boobs. How this all came up was the fact I posted a photo onto Instagram of myself in a bathing suit. I don't wear bikinis, I'll get to that in a moment. I make a lot of self-deprecating jokes. I like to make people laugh, but at the same time, I use it as a way to cover up my own insecurities or to get at myself first. So if someone else attacks me later, it doesn't feel as bad. And you know what? It works. If I make a joke about something with myself, I feel like if someone else tries to attack me for it, it doesn't hurt. So I have made a lot of pretty bad comments about my chest. But I realized that um, I haven't explained this thought process to you guys, as well as the fact I have been hiding my actual situation. Now you guys know, I have a large chest. I am a 10F, I don't know what that converts to. Um, my largest size was around the GH cup and that was many, many years ago. But um, I had noticed that my breasts had started growing again. And um, no, I'm not pregnant. Yeah, um, I wish. <laughs> I called my breast chesticles. I have, I think since I was probably about 20, I started referring to my chest as chesticles. Because like, in a joke, I said that um, they're no longer breasts once gravity has got to them this much, they're chesticles now. Um, and you know what, I find that kind of funny. And I think some of you did too, and you saw the humor in it, but there is a lot of masking going on with that too, because I use it to cover up my own insecurities and my own um, was hatred for my chest. Now, the reason why I say was is because Someone, well, a couple of people actually pointed me out to um, a hashtag called Saggy Boobs Matter. Now, while I don't agree with the actual titling of this, because I feel like it detracts away from other movements within our social climate, um, I think that it's good in the way that people are representing and proud of their form. Everybody is different and, you know, boobs come in many different shapes and sizes. We are told that. However, I feel like because of the rise of plastic surgery and all of that, we're fed into achieving the perfect breast. Now, if you get plastic surgery, the, I'm, hey, I'm all for it. Dude, I'm getting some. Um, I'm eventually going to get my skin removed off my stomach and my arms from my weight loss. And you know what? Cool. I love plastic surgery, so whatever. I'm all for plastic surgery, as long as it's what you want. Now, I thought I wanted a breast lift and breast reduction, you know, pay nearly $20,000. So I've been hiding my actual, you know, chest situation from you guys for, um, you know, as long as this channel's been around because I fear, I fear the rejection um, or, I don't know, the names I could possibly get called if people saw that my chest is less than perfect. Why do I feel this? I don't know. I do not know. I mean, I have had friends, ex-friends, past friends, call my breasts poppy ears. I squeeze myself into smaller bra sizes, and if I'm wearing a top that I feel like they might possibly pop out of, I use masking tape because I learned very quickly that using boob tape or fashion tape gets very expensive. So I go with a $2 roll of masking tape to tape them in and yeah, pulling it off my nipple hurts, but I do everything to make sure I pre present um, myself in a better way looks wise because especially with that area because I'm so self-conscious of my chest and my like my stomach skin because I have excess skin hence why I don't do bikinis I don't do um crop tops with low shorts or anything like that if I wear a crop top it has to be with high-waisted because I have to tuck my stomach skin 
into my underwear and I can't have any of that kind of show. Um, that's for my own sanity because I can't stand looking at it either. You know, there gets to points where I can't even look at my own chest because I feel like something is wrong with me until I saw this hashtag because I realized, hey, it, this is this is people of all ages, all races, all skin colors, everything, and all sizes who have breasts that look like mine. But then I realized I have a I have a significant amount of followers on Instagram. How many people have the same kind of body situation as me? in the way that they hate their chest, they feel like they're saggy, or they feel like their breasts just don't look as good as everyone else. So that is why I'm doing this today, because I am not coming out, I don't want to say that, but I am allowing you guys to know that I have saggy boobs. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to go through with my breast reduction and lift because I feel like I need to, I need to accept myself as is. I will still get my surgery to remove my excess skin from my arms and my stomach. There's no question about that. I want it removed. It gets so annoying to have to tuck your damn skin into your underwear. But my breasts, what is wrong with them? What is really wrong with them? Absolutely nothing. And I think there are a lot of people out there who look at, you know, my chest and see there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. So why do I think there's something wrong with it? Because they don't look like other people's, other people's that I see in the media. And yeah, I need to toughen up because if I can look at, the, at these other people and feel bad about myself, then there's obviously something wrong with me as well. But I do feel like there needs to be a bit more representation for people who gravity been unkind to in the chest department. So that is me. I'm saggy. Now I'm not going to be showing anything in this video. Um, you know, I feel like it's just something that doesn't need to be shown. It's just something I need to say. Now, will I stop making jokes about my chest. No. I, I like humor. Humor is my coping mechanism, so I'm going to keep making jokes. But at the same time, I'm also... I'm not going to tape myself in for photo shoots. I'm not going to tape my boobs up for bikini, well, um, swimsuit shots and all of that stuff. I'm not going to do that. Um, I don't do swimsuit shots very often, but I promise you that the next one I post, I will post myself without tucking of breasts, without any kind of tapes or any involvement of anything except for just plain old covering them up. Um, because I want, I want everybody to feel like they have a normal body. Because it's just not nice to feel like, hey, you're abnormal, but yeah. So that is my little ramble. I'm sorry if this video is boring and rambly and blah, blah, blah. But I just wanted you guys to know that I have, because I have openly said that, yes, I'm going to go get a breast reduction. Yes, I'm going to go get a breast lift. Um, no, I'm not going to anymore. Not going to. And if you try and say that, well, you're going to be cutting off all your skin, that's a different issue. I think that's a little bit different to augmenting my breasts to be an ideal, whereas removal of skin is just trying to get rid of the last little bit of, um, you know, my weight gain, weight loss kind of thing. I don't hate plastic surgery. I'm all for it. If you can afford it and you know the risks, go for it. Do it be my guest but I think that yeah I, I'm I was I was doing the breast lift breast augmentation um, breast reduction for all the wrong reasons so I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I would love to be here for every single video like this video if you 
enjoyed the topic, even though it's completely off topic from what I usually do, you know, fashion and beauty. Comment down below if there's something you would like to see on this channel, and I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful, fantabulous day. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.